Hi friends, here is another problem of coordinate geometry related to distance formula. Question is saying, so that the points 0, negative 1, 6, 7, negative 2, 3, 8, 3 are the vertices of rectangle and also find its area. So first we have to find out that these coordinates are are the coordinates of a rectangle or not. Okay, so let, let me just suppose that this is A equals to 0 comma minus 1 and B equals to 6 7 I'm just giving the name to all points okay and C equals to minus 2 comma 3 and finally D equals to 8 3 okay so what are the possible lines here it may be a B B C uh, C D right or maybe a C B D so let me write all the lines okay <coughs> and find their distance by using the distance formula right uh, let me first find out AB so the distance of AB is right the difference of X coordinate right S difference of X coordinate that is 6 minus 0 and it's a square plus difference of Y coordinate that is 7 minus minus 1 right 7 minus minus 1 it will be plus 1 right 7 minus 1 whole square it's root over right and then uh, it will be 6 square plus 7 plus 1 it will be 8 square right so 6 squared it is 36 and 8 squared that is 64 so now it is root over 100 that is 10 units right so we got the value of AB line that is of 10 unit right and this is the distance formula I think you know this right x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square right if you are first time watching this uh, then I will suggest you to go to my website that's skyingblogger.com or in this YouTube also you can search for the uh, distance formula okay this is the exactly distance formula of the coordinate geometry and I know uh, that you know this that's why you're watching this video so another uh, let me find out the BC distance okay BC so BC is again the difference of X coordinate that is uh, 6 plus 2 right whole square plus 7 minus 3 difference of y coordinate right so 7 minus 3 whole square and again root over right so it will be 8 square plus again 7 minus 4 that is 4 square right so now 8 square is 64 4 square is 16 so if you add 64 and 16 it will be under root 18 uh, sorry 80 right and uh, if you proceed this it will be 16 square that is 4 square means 16 into 5 right and uh, you know 4 square is 16 and 16 5 is 80 so I can now take out the 4 outside right now 4 uh, 4 is coming outside and root 5 unit right so we got the value of BC also now let's find out the value of uh, CD okay CD so difference of again X coordinate that will be 8 and then uh, minus 2 and then minus minus it will be plus 2 right so 8 plus 2 whole square and difference of y coordinate that is 3 minus 3 whole square so it will be 0 right <coughs> so 8 plus 2 that is 10 square and then 0 so of course it's 0 10 square I can easily take out the 10 unit right so we get the value of CD also now let's find out the value of AC right AC right so uh, difference of x coordinate again so minus 2 come minus 0 whole square right plus 3 minus 1 so 3 minus 1 minus 1 so my uh, 3 minus minus plus it will be 3 plus 1 whole square it will be right so minus 2 square that will be 4 again and 3 plus 1 again 4 square 4 square is equals to 16 right so directly I'm writing 16 over here it is 16 so 4 plus 16 it will be under root 20 and I can also write like this uh, f uh, simply 2 square right 2 square means 40 it's a 4 and then 4 multiply 5 right so this is 2 okay and I'm taking this 2 and then 2 root 5 unit right so we get the value of AC as a 2 root 5 unit okay and then again we found AC now let's find out BD the value of BD okay BD so BD will be the difference of X coordinate that is 8 minus 6 whole square plus again 3 minus 7 right 3 minus 7 
whole square so it will be 8 minus 6 it will be 2 right so 2 square plus 3 minus 7 it will be minus 4 square right so it will be again 20 right 2 square that is 4 uh, that's 4 and 4 square that is 16 so directly I'm writing here 20 so again it will be again 2 root 5 unit right now we find the BD also uh, now let's find out uh, we, we got AB right and now let's find out AC AC, yeah, AC is also uh, we, we find out altogether 6 we have to find out we find out AB right and then AC right and then AD we haven't found out so let's find out first AD right all the line we find out now find out AD so difference of x coordinate that is 8 minus 0 whole square right and then again mm, 3 minus so 3 minus 1 so 3 minus and minus minus will be plus therefore 3 plus 1 whole square right so again it is root over so it is 8 square and again here 4 square so it will be 80 right it will be 80 so again it is 4 root 5 unit right but here we got some values that is uh, equal to each other right and here see AB is 10 unit right and uh, here this CD is also 10 unit right AB and CD so what we can write that AB is equals to AB is equals to CD and next what we got BC is 4 root 5 right BC is 4 root 5 and again another point that is uh, this AD is 4 root 5 so BC and AD are also equal right so I can write now BC equals to AD and another now AC is 2 root 5 right here 2 root 5 and then BD is also 2 root 5 so I can write now that AC and BD both are equal that is equals to 2 root 5 right it is equals to 2 root 5 and BC and AD are equals to 4 root 5 right and AB and CD are equals to 10 unit right so 10 unit so to become a, a rectangle you know four points uh, always we get six right so suppose let me just write here uh, draw a rectangle suppose this is a rectangle right and these are the diagonals right and we know uh, to become a, a quadrilateral or a parallelogram whatever a qu a perfect rectangle opposite sides must be equal right and to become a rectangle you know one angle at uh, uh, means all angles should be right angle so I'm just if one angle is equal and opposite sides are equal one angle is 90 degree and opposite sides are equal then we can easily say uh, that figure uh, as a rectangle right so to become a rectangle this figure opposite side should be equal and every angle should be 90 degree right every angle should be 90 degree so always we know in a uh, see only in this this triangle this uh, let me do it another color right uh, in this triangle you only see this is a right angle right this is a right angle and in a right angle always the hypotenuse is always the greatest part right the largest part so here we have get the six uh, uh, you can say six uh, the distances right a b c d b c a uh, again a d a c b d right this six part so here in uh, here is uh, these all are representing the six side right these, these all are representing six side and in this six part the longest part should be the diagonal right so here is the longest part is this one rather than 4 root 5 and 2 root 5 so this is the greatest part here so this diagonal must be 10 root 10 10 unit right so we can say a b is the diagonal or uh, you can say CD is the diagonal right CD and AB should be diagonal equal both are equal so here AB and CD diagonal are equal right so automatically what we get BC now see BC is 4 root 5 right so this is 4 root 5 right and AC equals to BD equals to 2 root 5 AC equals to BD equals to 2 root 5 this is also 4 root 5 so AC equals to 2 root 5 right 2 root 5 it should be also 2 root 5 and now the distance of this is 10 unit already we got right 10 unit so still we cannot say this is a 
uh, rectangle yeah we can say this is this is a parallelogram because the opposite sides are equal right opposite sides are equal right but to become this uh, a rectangle this should be 90 degree right means the square of this AB square should be equals to the sum of AC square and BC right according to the Pythagoras theorem right according to the Pythagoras theorem in a right angle triangle means the triangle which has the 90 degree the square of the hypotenuse is always equals to the sum of the square of the perpendicular and the base right so first we have to show this okay so let me do this here uh, let me see whether they are uh, uh, it's uh, exactly the right angle or not okay so to become right angle according to the Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square must be equals to the perpendicular square and the sum of the base square right sum of the perpendicular and the base square so hypotenuse over here is the AB square right AB square and the perpendicular here is AC square and the BC right BC that is base here BC square so here AB is just we find out AB is 10 unit so 10 square so it be equals to AC square right AC here AC is 2 root 5 2 root 5 whole square plus BC here is 4 root 5 right 4 root 5 so 4 root 5 whole square so again what we got 10 square that is 100 2 root 5 that is 4 multiply 5 4 times 5 right uh, plus 4 root 5 it means 4 that's 16 right and then uh, root uh, square of 5 uh, root, root 5 will be 5 only so therefore what we get again 100 equals to 4 multiply 5 that is 20 and 16 multiply 5 that is 80 right therefore now we got 100 equals to 100 so what we got that square of the hypotenuse is equals to the sum of the square of the perpendicular and the base it means this is a right angle triangle therefore now we can say angle ACB is equals to 90 degree so now we can say this is a rectangle right so like this we have to prove that it's a rectangle but the question is asking the area also so simply the area of the rectangle is area of rectangle is length multiply breadth right so here the length is 4 root 5 and the breadth is 2 root 5 so simply the area is 4 multiplied to that is 8 and root uh, and the root 5 multiplied root 5 that will be 5 right so 8 5 ja 40 centimeters uh, you can say unit square okay simply unit square unit square is the area so like this we have to show the uh, given four points uh, or four coordinates are the really the vertices of the uh, a rectangle right so like this we have to prove so we'll watch was our videos right in next video I'm just going to make uh, some more problems related to distance formula that will clearly make you and boost you in the distance formula right any problems you'll be able to do in distance formula that will really enhance you okay bye bye we'll be meeting in next video bye